St. Lucie County's new sheriff just wrapping up his first full day on the job. Former Sheriff Ken Mascara suddenly resigning late last Friday, citing health issues, leading Governor DeSantis to appoint Lieutenant Keith Pearson to the post. Our Megan McRoberts got the chance to ask Sheriff Pearson about his priorities and also ask for his side about a state investigation that at one point targeted him, the previous sheriff, Ken Mascara, and others over the past few years. It's very humbling. Sheriff Keith Pearson says he's still in shock over his appointment to Sheriff late Friday. Did you see this coming? I had about, uh, I was driving down Midway Road about 30 minutes before the governor's uh, press release came out. Um, the phone rang. I thought it was uh, a number I didn't recognize. It was the uh, the governor's office. Uh, they had said, uh, congratulations, you were just appointed to uh, sheriff of St. Lucie County. Pearson, a 20-year veteran of the agency, most recently a lieutenant over school security, and a lieutenant who was picked by Governor DeSantis to run the agency even over captains and a major. It's a privilege that Governor DeSantis would, uh, would choose me to, uh, to lead the agency. The governor's office hasn't responded to questions asking how DeSantis became aware of and selected Pearson. Mascara said in a statement announcing his retirement, he would work with Pearson for a smooth transition and whatever else he needs. Ken Mascara did, a, did a, an amazing job. Um, I'm going to build on that and do that 10 times better. Pearson named illegal arcades and cracking down on fentanyl two priorities he will keep moving forward. You know, we need to look at every issue that we have and, and look at it. There's a problem. Let's solve it. Not just uh, you know respond or react. Let's, let's really get to the core. It might take a little bit more time. But the start of a new position for Pearson doesn't come without some controversy. Pearson was questioned by FDLE as part of a bigger investigation into allegations that Sheriff Ken Mascara propped up a ghost candidate in 2020. Mascara, running as a Democrat, was accused by FDLE of convincing a Republican. Kevin Carter to run a ghost campaign to beat out Mascara's true Republican opponent, Richard Williams. Mascara defeated Carter in 2020. An FDLE document says investigators found Mascara, among others, helped fund and run Carter's ghost campaign. Pearson was accused of helping create and build and place campaign signs for Carter. We asked Pearson about FDLE's findings. The report speaks for itself. Do you think you did uh, the, the, the findings and the reports are out that you have all the information on that. But the report said Pearson knowingly conspired, confederated, abetted, and aided Ken Mascara, assisting to create Carter's campaign signs to siphon votes from established Republican candidate Rich Williams in 2020. And, so the uh, report said that you abetted in a ghost campaign. Uh, it was, I have no comment on any of that. So. so I think it said you were putting up signs for Kevin Carter. Yeah, did already? you know at the time that it was part of a ghost campaign? No, I did not. While FDLE recommended criminal charges for Mascara Pearson and others, prosecutors in an outside judicial circuit decided not to file charges, uh, citing member, insufficient uh, evidence. No, I, I take the law serious here in St. Lucie County. Just days after being appointed to sheriff, Pearson also officially filed to run in the 2024 race as a Republican, a decision he said he made just after being appointed to sheriff. Megan McRoberts, WPTV, News Channel 5. Now, this change in leadership comes more than 22 years after Ken Mascara came into office. The county's landscape has certainly changed in so many ways since Mascara's first election back in 2000. Most notably, the population has nearly doubled in that time. A county of not quite 200,000 people is now the 20th largest in our state with more than 350,000 residents.